has become a health hazard. <laughs> but it is one thing to let soda cans and pizza remnants pile up as far as the eye can see, but I will not tolerate... <laughs> but I will not tolerate these. Bud, your dirty underwear is infringing on other people's rights. Undergarment pollution is fastly becoming... <laughs> That fresh air! <laughs> hey, what's this? So realistic. Hey! <laughs> Ever since Bud got that silent TV, he has not been the same. And he can't even get his favorite show, trampling beach babes on that thing. That silent TV thing is referred to as the Internet. Inter-what? The Internet. And Bud is afflicted with the bad case of Internet surfitis. And I've decided we have to intervene before he suffers irreversible damage and we lose him forever. Oh, he hasn't moved for 18 days. Ah. It says that the Internet is an unlimited source for everything in this and other universes. Um... Can we get pizza on this internet? I think Bud is experiencing some kind of spastic nervous disorder. Uh, well, actually, he's controlling the mouse, which is the key to the internet gateway. Hmm, interesting. If we can banish the mouse, we can solve this internet problem. La, 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 la. Wranglers, you called about a mouse problem? <laughs> this looks like a code G3, S and D. Mr. Ratman, and the mouse is over there in the... Shh. We've locked on over there. Over there? They're in the walls. We got a runner! Multiple signals. G3456, your overload. Lock and load. Clear. Lock and load. Clear. All right. Mouse problem resolved. 2,500. All right, there you go. Thanks, Governor. Have a rat-free day, y'all. Now, where were we? We were trying to save Bud. I think I'm on to something. It says here that interneters can talk to each other online in something called a chat room. Okay. It's simple. We just set up another computer, and then we can communicate with Bud and talk him off the internet. That's ridiculous. I'll tell you how we communicate with Bud. I just go into his room and communicate with my foot to his butt. Uh, pizza? Online? <laughs> just sign here. Have a nice day, ma'am. Hey, it says welcome! Oh, this internet is very polite. <laughs> okay, it's getting late. Tomorrow is Operation Save Bud. Whew, let's go rest. Surfing on the net can be tricky. 
We'd better be in good shape. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting tired. Pizzas247.com Okay, everybody, wake up. Candy, gorgeous. Go gorgeous. Zebras. Now we've lost gorgeous in the intersurf. We need another computer. Sign here. Have a nice day, sir. Well, it hasn't lost its manners. Don't be fooled. We must take precautions when dealing with this machine. It's very dangerous. Logging on to the internet. Okay. Now we need to contact Bud and Gorgeous. Oh, let's look up vacuum cleaners first. <gasps> <gasps> Oh, bye. Oh, look at that. 18,723 results came up. Oh, I need my own computer right now. You know, this internet is actually quite amazing. Wait a second. What if I typed in spaceship designs? By cracking 58,934 results. Hey, 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 it's my turn. Hold on, I'm, I'm not finished. Move, my turn, my turn, it's not fair. some of this. We live on pizza, soda, and chips. We don't sleep, and we're getting fat. I am not fat. I'm talking about the real us in the real world. Of course, the real us. We were supposed to be helping the real us. But we are real. No, bud. We are avatars in a virtual world. Look, in reality, it would be impossible for me to pick up a mountain. Not to mention, I can also get bonus points for juggling the mountain. We have to figure out how to get out of here now! <laughs> Is there a virtual book? Yes, and I found some virtual information here. It says that computers can be rendered inoperative by a computer virus, and in some cases, permanently. That's it! We can fix this computer problem with this virus thing! Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get this virus thing! Yes, thank you. See you soon. Have a nice cyber day. Okay. Help is on the way. They're sending us their best virus. Y'all order a computer virus? 
Yes, we did. And hurry. Okay, great step back and away from the area. All right. Let's melt this baby down like a fried cheese sandwich. Three, two, one. Smoke it. Zebras, what happened? Oh, I feel a little bloated. I can't get up. Wow, I was having the weirdest dream. Hey, I think it's time for trampoline beach bag. Oh, I think we did it. Bud's back to normal. Oh, hooray! <laughs> Fifteen points. Ouch! Are you crazy? That was a coconut. Hey, no cheating. That was fifteen points. <laughs> Fifty points. I am the master of the flying egg. <laughs> I got you. Two hundred points in your face. <laughs> Stop it. I'm not playing anymore. Slam dunk. Four hundred points. I said the game is over. No, it's not. Get over here, you little worm. Maybe I should order another computer. Hmm. The center of the Earth, also called the core, constitutes an unlimited amount of energy in the form of magma. The phenomenon of volcanic eruptions allows us to witness this incredible power. Did you hear that? The center of the Earth is where we can find enough energy to power our spaceship. Okay, everyone, get packing. The expedition to the center of the Earth leaves in 15 minutes. We are not doing any such thing. Okay, well, it's either that or I'll have to continue doing my research on pork and bean natural gas power. Stop! According to my calculations, we can reach the center of the Earth through this manhole cover. Come on! It's not very deep. Anytime you want to quit clowning around, we'll be over here waiting for you so we can leave. Wow, this sure is a deep, dark, scary, never-ending tunnel. Anyone want to sing? No! I think we have visitors. This is fantastic. Can you feel the negative ions? Not really. Are you sure this is the center of the Earth? Yeah, God, of course not. The center of the Earth is about three days of walking from here. Narf! You should have no problem getting there with calf muscles like this. Who are you? And what are you saying? <laughs> I'm Eddie, and this is Jerry, huh? I'm leaving for the center of the Earth right now! If you want to follow me, I will take you there. Did you understand what he just said? I think he either said he would feast on our internal organs, or he would show us the way to the center of the Earth. Thank you, friend. We follow you in peace. Ye God! Let's go! Narf, narf! <laughs> what did he say? He said, this way to the dinner table. Hmm, this must be the scenic route. This place is disgusting, and it certainly could use a good cleaning. Oh, come now, Candy. 
It's not every day you have the opportunity to see stalactites so close. And now a stalagmite. This is your lucky day. Doesn't this little beast have a leash? Hey guys, so uh, how's the thingies up topside, huh? Narf, narf. It's been so long since I've been up there, Neef. Oh yes, I agree. It is best when the cheese is cooked crispy. Yeah, boy. Come on, fella. <laughs> God, Zooks, what do you, what's wrong with crazy you, boy -o? Do you know what kind of back pressure that makes in the car? <laughs> what's wrong with Marble Mouth? No sense of humor. Mm, nif, nif. This is some kind nice of calf you are having there, hmm? Nerf! Your friend is a little sensitive. <laughs> narf, narf, I'm hungry. Please, you guys ready to be dinner? We come in peace. Please, we mean you no harm. Oh, center of our specialty. Hot, soft, greasy fries. Thanks, but we're not quite ready for dinner right now. Maybe you could find another main course. They should eat my good fries. They'll need the energy later. <gasps> well, that's particularly nasty smelling. Watch your step. The mushrooms smell like fresh gorilla excrement with a side of burnt hair. What did you say? Never mind. I'm getting tired of all this walking. What? Oh, aren't you just the funniest guy at the center of the earth? <laughs> Is small yet firm. Oh man, I gotta find something to eat. I'm starving. Bingo! <laughs> One extra large eggnog coming up. Hey, and uh, how you doing? Uh, I was just uh, repositioning your egg here for you. I... Oh, go! <laughs> Hello, Officer Steve, Immigration Department. Uh, do you have any papers for that guy? Uh, I'm sorry, but we're gonna have to take him downtown. Uh, we'll check his status and we'll call you later with a report. <laughs> Behold, Gorgax, the amazing magician. Watch as I take this egg and hocus pocus, abracadabra, and presto, it's disappeared. Charge! I'll let myself out. Listen, Janine, honey. You're breaking my heart. How can you deny me, the father of our love child, visitation rights? I'll just take him on the weekends. Where were you? Huh? Uh oh, me? Oh, I, I just uh, had to stop and use the restroom. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the center of the earth. Yes! Welcome. What's that thing? Gadzooks! That's the core! <laughs> but it's so small and shriveled up. Yes, Narf, it's been like that ever since the Great Flood. We fixed the leak, but the core was ruined. But if that's the core, then where is the Earth's energy coming from? <laughs> Gadzooks, that's my job. I've been peddling for 40 years. Well, <laughs> but I'm glad you're here to take over for me. Wait, that's not why we're here. Whoa, don't worry. It's easy. Neep, neep. You're crazy, Mushroom Man. We're not doing any peddling. Gee, guys. Harry won't be happy to hear that. Oh, really? You mean Dust Ball here? <laughs> ah! Okay, I'll peddle first. Okay, okay! We're pedaling as fast as we can! God, Zooks! I'm off for the top side! See ya! No, no, yeah, right! Shove off! Now's not the time, bud! Hey, I think she's here to see you! Oh, uh, <laughs> hi, Janine! <laughs> Bad dust ball! Get back our love child! Say, guys, now's the time. Exit stage left. There, an emergency exit. He got Zooks! Don't touch that! It's very dangerous! Oh, come down right now! What is that mushroom head saying? It's the Great Flood, part two! I ocean here. Isn't it amazing? Complete and utter devastation. Well, hey, uh, you guys need a lift? It's a long walk from here. Feel the power. I could take you anywhere you want. Man-powered spaceship. No way! Don't even think about it! But the gentleman offered... No! Dreaming? Or are there 20,000 rabbits in here? Yes, well, what about the 30,000 doves? Ziggory, ziggory, finnery, lula, lee. Wow! A magician! Just like the amazing Kraskin. Well, that explains all the doves and rabbits. Walla Walla Washington, Cucamonga. Petaluma, lickety lickery loo. Works just like magic. Wow! 
Wow, 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 wow. Hey, 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 look, look. I'll make my thumb disappear. I made my thumb disappear. Well, that settles it. We have to get rid of this tenant. Hey, wait a second. That one thing is amazing. <laughs> Hey, hey! Look at this! Hey, if we had a magic stick like that, with just a flick of the wrist, we could be home right now. We need that wand. La, 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 la. Well, my good Roger, the new show is our best yet. This show is good enough for Broadway. And I will become famous and make one million dollars. And I will be the undisputed best magician in the world. Okay, let's calm down now before you get too excited. <laughs> Not since Houdini has there been a magician as great as me. Um... Okay, okay, don't get yourself worked up. You know what happens when you get yourself too excited. Uh, hello? Is there a magician in the house? Oh, so you want to join the greatest magic show on Earth, eh? Well, let's see what you've got. Is it getting heavy? Yeah, let me help you with that. I hope you like flying. Ah! Oldest trick in the book. Next! Okay, well, that sure was, um, well, was something. <laughs> something pretty uh. awful. We need another plan. Hmm, listen to this. It says here that magicians like to marry supermodels. Oh, I can't wait to see this. I love you, fair maiden. Will you marry me? Look over there, the ghost of Houdini. Darling? Oh, darling, where did you go? All the luggage is ready. Okay, time for boarding. Now remember, when we get into outer space, breathe through your noses. Oh, and by the way, we have approximately four minutes of air time. All right, let's go. Ricky Ticky Taffy, no serve gumbo. Zalary Z, Zalary Zoo, time to lift off. Hody hoo hoo. Ziggy Zaggy, big belly bounce. Snuffle horn, sniffle corn, billery billery bee. Mango dango wango fango, the sailor's life for me. Maybe I could ask the magician how it works. Maybe we could make the magician tell us how it works. First my wand, now my salami. We just need you to perform this one trick and then we'll leave you alone. And you won't bother me again? I... I 
I feel my power. It's coming. I will turn you into a 23-pound butter-basted turkey. <laughs> Ta-da! <clears throat> Come out, little bunny. Uh, maybe he didn't hear you. <gasps> my powers have failed me. There's no more hocus in my pokins. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> What have you done? <laughs> Look what you've done. Why in the world would you ask him to perform magic? What's wrong with you? You don't get it, do you? He's not a real magician. I mean, he doesn't have real magic powers. It's all an illusion. Smoke, mirrors, and pink donkeys. It's me, his loyal assistant, that makes it all happen from backstage. Liar. He's a real magician. Look at those rabbits and the turtle doves. I'll prove it. I'll go ask him. No, you won't. He's convinced he has real magic powers. And if he knew he didn't have any, with his fragile psyche, it would absolutely destroy him and throw him into a bottomless pit of utter and terminal despair. You see, we're old childhood friends. And well, one day when we were little, I accidentally, on purpose, hit him on the head with a shovel. And ever since that day, he thinks he's the great Marty. And I vowed I would always take care of him. You better fix this or else. <laughs> like I said, or else. We'd be more than happy to help out the poor deluded fellow. Right, boys? Yeah, <laughs> sure. Uh, yeah, sure. All right, all right. Let's start with the cutting the woman in two trick. Well, uh, let's see. How does it go again? Um. Oh, yes, oh, yes, the box. The box, yes. Hey, hey, you bunnies don't need to overdo it. Okay, woman, this is where you get in the box. Where's the woman? <laughs> ah! Are you crazy? Stop! <laughs> Did I come out now? Bravo! Now the magic hat trick. Bunny, uh, are you in there? <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> Bravo, bravo, very good. I will unlock you from your bindings. <laughs> Ouch! I didn't feel a thing. <laughs> Behold, the amazing magical powers of the great Marty! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. Not again. Oh, that hurt. Oh, where am I? Roger? But why are you old and wearing a bunny costume? And who are they? W w what's going on here? You don't remember your assistant, Roger? You're the great magician, Marty. Oh, come on, magic's fake, and, and you look silly in that bunny suit. I don't believe it, but that hit on the head... It cured you. I'm going to tell everyone at school that you wear bunny pajamas. Look, Marty, I've been wearing this bunny suit for 32 years just so you wouldn't get hurt. Hey, look, a dove. Ha, ha, ha. Very funny. I'll see you at recess. <laughs> Why am I still hopping? Hmm. To think 32 years of devotion... And they're not even married. But they'll be getting a divorce now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm craving a big slice of pizza. Yeah, me too. I was just thinking the same thing. Hey, save some for me! Hey, feet! Wait for me! Oh, feet, come back, come back! How will I ever sound? Have you 
lost your mind? Give me my goat kebab back. Well, that's just splendid, Von Braun. Once again, you've managed to stain the carpet with nuclear waste. Okay, that's it. I give up. Eight spaceships in one week. It's a new record. Well, it's official. We are never going back home. Stop! There it is. Watch the grass. Oh, boy. New tenants. Norman the door. Come on, Paul, you're just as weak as your father. There's a lot of work to be done around here. The hedges need trimming, the grass needs cutting, the house could use a fresh cut of paint. Quit fooling around, Norman. Hurry up and get my luggage. Norman! Yes, Mother? After you take my luggage up to my room, you can get busy cleaning all the toilets. Yes, Mother. The toilets. Right away, Mother. Oh, that poor little man! Can I change the channel? The Cast Iron Chef is on. Where did I leave off? Oh, yeah, I know. What is he doing? Maybe he's measuring the trunk to see if his mother will fit in there. Can I change the channel now? Wait, can't you see we are watching something here? <laughs> Potato chips. Shut the curtains. There's too much glare on the television. Anything else, Mother? No, no! Yes, Mother. My toe is getting cold. Could you adjust my slipper? No, no! I need more ice cream. Trim my nose here. Turn down the television. Wash my socks. Stay strong, Norman. We're almost there. Just a few more adjustments, and freedom will be at hand. Soon, I'll be far, far away in a happy, happy place. On another planet. Norman, come here. That little guy is turning his car into a spaceship. <laughs> no, the Norman human is building a spaceship. That's nice. <sighs> now what? <laughs> well, I think we need to have a closer look at Norman's little... Project. Be quiet! That wasn't me! No, man! Uh Hey, guys, where is everyone? Wow, there it is, a real-life spaceship engine. <laughs> Are you thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, quick, hide! 
Okay, it's time to do a temperature test. Is it me, or does it smell like nuclear fission in here? Yes, 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 yes. Guys, hello, guys. Are you in here? Uh, no, we're in the trunk. Did you guys eat all my chips? Open the trunk. It's a real spaceship engine. Oh, wonderful. But do you guys know where all my salt and vinegar chips went? Excuse me, I was watching something. Shh. He's making adjustments to the ship's thrust reactor. <laughs> no, no. Uh, if his mother keeps doing this, he'll never finish the spaceship engine. We have to help him. Oh, and how do you propose to do that? I've got the answer right here. Yeah, we'll send her to the moon. The old-fashioned way. I've got an idea. La, 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 la. <laughs> Whose stupid plan was this, anyway? I'm telling you this is going to work. <laughs> <laughs> Norman? What? What? Did your soup get cold? Do you need a toothpick? And do you want the bedpan changed again? I came to see what you're doing here. Well, this looks good, except you could make a couple of minor adjustments. <laughs> I would suggest that you might want to advance the timing on the constrapulator, and then move the core liquidator away from the hyperbolic drive thruster housing. I, I never knew you were interested in quantum mechanics. Well, you never asked now, did you? You know your dear old mother has learned a few things over the years. Yes, Mother? Have you finished washing the dishes? Uh, this is the last one. Not so bad, Norman. I finished polishing the mirror. I'll start on the floor next. I'm almost finished in here, Mother. Chicken mousse with a pineapple marinade place. Would you like some tea first? There you go, Mother. Well, that's better, Norman. There's hope for you yet. Where are those chips? Is there something wrong, Mother? Uh, can I get you something? Aren't you supposed to be busy with the car, Norman? <laughs> it's just us. <laughs> <laughs> but if we're here, then where are they? Mother, you have been an inspiration to me my whole life. Well, Norman, I may not show it, but you fill my heart with great pride. Mommy! You are the best son a mother could have. I love you, Mom! I love you, Norman! Oh, isn't that just lovely? The spaceship is ready. Let's get going. Yeah, 
Now, let me just engage the warm-up engine servos. And in mere moments, we'll be rocketing skyward to our home galaxy, Sigma B. Oh, those final adjustments, Mother? They did the trick. I can't wait to show you. Well, it looks the same. You want to take it for a spin? Watch. It's going to make some pretty blue flames. Whose idea was it to hide under the car? It's finished. The new ship is ready to go. Pack your bags. We're leaving this planet. Yeah, right. Ready to go. No, no, really, it's all ready to take off. Watch, all I have to do is hit this remote and... Ask the chips, would you? 